My name is Alia Zuzenas. I am six years old, a Kindle 2 student. Today, I will be reading you a story about Pinocchio. Hi, my name is Lajerica Gamba. I'm from Kindle 1. I'm going to read Hello, everybody. My name is Kivan Jumerada, and I am five years old. And I am from Kinder 1B. And, and I am going to read you a short story. In the title, The Goose with the Golden Eggs. Good day everyone. My name is Austin Kaldison. I am 6 years old from Kinder 1A. I would like to share all of you a short story about the frog friends. Let's start. In a village in China during the time, of the Tang Dynasty, the chief thought of sending a gift to the kind-hearted emperor. In the sad village, where plenty of ponds were swans the village chief decided to send a swan to the emperor. He chose the fattest and most handsome swan as a gift. Once upon a time, there lived a woodcarver named Gip Gipetto. One day, he made a puppet he, he named Ponicchio, Pinocchio. He wished that Pinocchio was a real boy, a fairy who knew that Gipetto was a good man. Cast a magic spell when Gipetto saw that Pinocchio could walk and talk. They were so happy that they danced with delight. Golden eggs. Once upon a time, a man and his wife had the good fortune to have a goose which laid a golden egg every day. A key flew through. They were soon to think they were not judging rich fast enough. They prince Ali is a kind and good looking prince. A witch got angry with him when he refused to love her. The witch First, the prince, you will turn into an angry frog. You will become human again when a princess kisses you. The senior was already near the palace. He decided to bathe the swan in the river he was passing by. Pinocchio felt terrible about what he had done. And he decided to tell Geppetto I'm so sorry for not going to school and lying, Father. Imagine if the bird able to lay golden eggs, its insides must be made of gold. And they thought they will get more tears, very soon, and his wife decided to kill the bird. The prince frog died for the ball. He saw it at the bottom of the pod. He whipped it 
with his teeth. Written beneath the poem was a simple message. However insignificant the gift may seem, it conveys the deep feelings of the sender. Moral lesson of the story, the true significance of a gift is not in its price or kind but in the sincerity of the giver. The end of the story.